Okay. Oh, am I too low? I feel like I'm too low. But you can still see me though, right? Maybe I should move you guys closer to me. Um, maybe. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so maybe move you guys. No, no, no. There. Is it better this way? I'm gonna stand on my knees. On my knees. Okay, this way. Hi. So this is much better. Hi. Welcome back. My name is Mummy. If you're new, you're welcome. So today, I just want to show you some of my natural air care products that I've been using ever since I transitioned completely from wearing wigs a lot to literally great getting to know myself through my hair. And so because I have to get rid of wigs and not hide behind the wigs, which is a video I've already done. So after this video, you can head over to my channel to watch it or there will be a link slight link coming above this video that way you can know ah oh, i can't do this anymore okay i'm just going to sit down this way i think this is much better <laughs> sorry um, i didn't want to bring on my tripod and set up everything and um i'm already in my pjs so that's the reason why so pardon me this is just all over the place the only reason why I'm just doing this quickly was because I was initially meant to do this before I actually head out and then I decided I didn't want to wear makeup because by the time I get home it's going to be quite late and I just didn't want to be, I'm, I didn't want to be in a mood to like take off my makeup and then do my skincare routine and the all shoe bangs. So I just thought I'll just go natural, everything natural but I digress. Um, the point of this video was to show you guys my air products that i've been using the only grill to touch base i do a lot of wash and go because i kind of feel like it's less manipulation and it's just freeing in a way that it brings out my curl patterns i'm not sure if it comes up a lot on video but my curl patterns is absolutely pretty so i'm grateful that god um showed me this you know side to me because sometimes we tend to hide behind things so to start off i'm going to start with um my shampoo and conditioner i'm a very very big fan of olive oil the brand um ors ors i'm a big brand a big fan of theirs creamy and olive oil aloe vera shampoo this one i tend to use this a lot um because it's aloe vera when i was younger in nigeria um we used aloe vera a lot and we used to plant i did a bit of you know planting this is not new to me so the only reason why oh sorry so this is not new to me the only reason why i chose this was the aloe vera and i know the um the fact that it has like rejuvenating moisture sense to it in a way and it's just like it just restores your hair basically the way that it makes my hair feel once i've run water through my hair a lot more and soaked this literally brings out the curls a lot more and sits into my hair it's just really really beautiful and also i love the smell as well i'm a big sucker for smells um so yeah this is really really good and then the next is olive um the conditioner and it has like sweet orange oil um for revitalizing moisture this this also helps with breakage this is what i use on a day-to-day -day when i'm having like a my weekly air wash so i tend to use these two in combination but when i'm doing cool washing which is every other day you know i don't use my air shampoo i use this my conditioner um just um water and conditioner wash which has been very very helpful so i've just been using this and it smells divine as well and it softens my hair and a lot of the time when i'm not doing deep conditioning i just let this rest on my hair um for five minutes as i'm combing through so that i can use it as a way to detangle my hair as well and it's just been really really useful in the sense of i don't have to do much to, de to detangle my hair i just need good amount of water <laughs> my hair drenched in water and then a good conditioner like this to soften it even a bit even more and then brush it through and then my curl pattern shows up a lot more as well because of it and it smells again it smells amazing and then 
I tend to use this when I'm doing the weekly air wash and the weekly air wash entails me using deep treatment conditioner so this is when I do like deep treatment conditioner to my hair and um, I sit under the dryer for like 30 minutes and because I don't have like the air salon dryer I tend to use like clean film around my hair um, once I've applied this on my hair basically and then blow dry it for 30 minutes and while I'm doing that I'm, I just go through my phone to keep me busy and entertained because people be spilling teas about their life you know again this smells amazing mm, it smells so good this is the color of it and it's just so perfect for the aim of it and literally my hair is so soft once I'm done using this and once I've rinsed this out it just feels so soft like super super soft and also again helps with my curls um this is with rice water and electrolytes and this is for supercharged hydration and growth so what i'm aiming for is um air retention um softness the next one i'd like to show you guys is my leave-in conditioner this is what i tend to use for deep treatments um conditioner as well as my co-washing cool process as well as you can tell is reducing little by little um i bought this over the christmas period last year and it's done so well so far even though i've been doing my air wash quite consistently this is to prevent breakup breakages so it makes my hair softer um it's pure honey rich in coconut oil um creamy shea butter and we all know those ingredients together and separately has a combination of making your hair softer um making it smell really nice and luscious and it just prevents breaking it enhances growth as well um and restoration of moisture into the hair and that's what i've been using basically when it comes to my hair routine so this is just the washing part that i've been doing days that i'm in a mood for jojo and jojo bar well, this I think like I'm butchering the name this one I tend to use this sometimes um, I swap out this I swap out this for this sometimes this is almost done <laughs> as you can tell so I swap it out and these are the two combinations I've been using um, I actually like this because it smells really good again and it's very very good for the hair um it helps with natural 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 what? why can't I speak today so it helps with natu natural shine and softness and it helps with the texture of your hair and I absolutely love the way it just makes my hair like I can literally run my finger through my hair um, when I'm using all these products and it's just been so helpful in the sense of even my fingers can detangle my hair now which I really really love and um, again just enhances my curl patterns as well which I absolutely love and so these are the products that I use in the bathroom when it comes to the shampoo now the next stage is once I'm done washing my hair I don't towel dry my hair anymore i like to do a drying process now because i just kind of feel like again less friction to the hair because a lot of um air towels is cutting and it has like friction to the hair and that's what i'm trying to prevent and also my hair needs a lot of moisture because it's low peroxide it's literally avoid using towels and i just air dry and let nature take its course basically so the next thing i do um is actually add this do um, do grow do grow stimulating air oil and it promotes um strong shiny healthy hair but and um, botanical oils vitamins and herbal formula helps eliminate dry scalps which it has um tames freeziness helps reduce breakage allowing hair to grow longer and this is what i've just been using this has been my favorite go-to because it's just nice oil because the air cut and cuticles are still open due to the warm water i use when i'm washing my hair and due to in our system that you, the air cuticles are still open long and my hair absorbs the oil a lot more and a little goes a long way when it comes to my own hair because it's, it just absorbs it a lot more so this has been my go-to um i i have seen people mix this to the next 
um, products I'd like to show you, which is Blue Magic Original, the India M's one. Um, this I'm not new to it because this was known back in the day. This has been used for my hair back in the day when I was little, even in Nigeria, and it's just been really, really good in the sense of it's made with green tea um, leaves, jojoba, which is the same ingredients as this, like jojoba, um, aloe, and saf flower and again smells immaculate mm. like it smells so good like it, keep, it gives it like a nice shine um i feel like with all these products in combination when i skip um the co-wash because i tend to co-wash my hair three times a week i would say on day one i skip day two and i wash on day three skip day four wash on day five so that's been my hair routine to wash my hair again i feel i can still feel my hair still feeling a bit more not moisturized not dry it's just there and i just really really like it and it's just really really good vibe and again i really love this for my scalp so in the bathroom my bathroom has a mirror so i can see what i'm doing while i'm in the shower and so I just do like a quick line up and just um, put this on my scalp, all over my hair. And then, yeah, this has just been great for me when I'm doing my core wash or when I'm doing deep treatment conditioner um, process, which is the greenhouse process. And then the next one, which is something I'm not new to as well. I've been using this since I was little and I stopped using it for some reason ever since I discovered wig. I don't know why, but it seems like I've revisited my childhood except for the OLS olive oil conditioning and shampoo product. So it's like a good throwback. And this has coconut oil, which I don't remember it contained. Or maybe it was that, but I just didn't pay attention to it. Anyways, um, virgin air fertilizer um, contains um, coconut oil, helps with rapid and healthy air growth. Again, going for the air growth system and for healthy hair. This, I don't use this, admittedly. Um, I've only used this once. And when I used it, I didn't like the smell. And the time I used it was to go to church. And I just kind of felt so uncomfortable because... I didn't like the smell it just felt so strong and I'm not used to this smell anymore and it just felt like a disturbance and you know and I was wearing nice perfume you should be smelling my perfume rather than my hair so um even and if you were to smell my hair I want it to smell really nice I feel like this is the, the only time I'll be using this is when I know I'm gonna be indoors working at home working from home indoors then i'll apply this to my scalp and all over my hair that way i know i'm indoors and not disturbing anyone with their nostrils and it's something i can contain for myself as well and just adapt to it basically and so i've been staying clear of using this but i need to start using this and i feel like the only time i will utilize this a lot more is when i have braids in or when i'm just not going out basically so yeah this has been my go-to um i'm not a big fan of the next product i'd like to show you particularly because i don't enjoy using it but i do understand it's a cilian especially when it comes to this to the condition of the weather the weather is very severe at the minute it was actually snowing this morning and this evening it had like slits and stuff like that and so i kind of feel like this product is used as a salient which is like the eco style olive oil styling gel and i feel like i lean towards this a lot more because it has the olive oil in it and it says it's maximum old so this is like a good salient for all the products to be sealed into my hair um and i just use it as a cream put a handful in my hand rub my hands together and just like put it all over my hair and you know just seal the um texture seal the moisture of um seal the moisture into my hair so that when the my hair cuticles are closed um the moisture is still there still being absorbed and then yeah that's literally it and when i'm going to bed i just use my satin scarf on my hair to like uh, prevent any friction with my pillow um i still need to get a satin pillowcase now that i'm taking my air routine very seriously and so this is literally my air product my air care product really um in my previous video 
when I opened up about my hair journey and stuff and what made me go into this old thing of not wearing wigs anymore um, I explained and I showed demonstration on what I do when I'm doing my deep treatments air conditioning process which is like my weekly hair wash I've not shown how I do my core wash just yet but I tend to do like core washing which is wash and go for me so core washing is just basically water to literally like rinse my hair and to moisturize my hair just like because of the low porosity of my hair i drench it in a lot of water then use conditioner which is this conditioner that i use alone this one and then i use this and then i use these products <laughs> these two products and then as a salient i use this product basically so that's what i do for my co wash and that's just been it wash and go has been my saving grace and i've been loving taking care of my hair because it's just gonna like oh my hair is so pretty and sometimes i'm just gonna like would i have felt this way if my hair was actually 4c um and it was really really coarse would i have enjoyed this process which is something i had to check myself so it's basically discovering myself and um removing um biases that i have in regards to black hair it's just sometimes there's these biases to like 4c hair and um, there's this stereotype and this disdain for 4C hair, like actual 4C hair. And um, I was I had to check myself for that. When I was super excited, I was like, oh, my core patterns are so pretty. My hair is so pretty, all of this stuff. And I was just going to like, would I have loved it? It was, if it was actual 4C hair. And um, sometimes you just have to check yourself for things that are quite harmful rhetorics um and so yeah that's another video for another day basically but this is just like a quick one um to update you guys um again i'm new to this journey this is just me inviting you guys on my journey to see how <laughs> how where it's going and how long it gets and you know i've seen people do chop and um they chop their hair off and then they grow it and then within six months to a year it grows look like really beautifully and stuff like that so it's like a, a natural air journey for me um and i've been loving it so far i've been actually enjoying taking care of my hair um and it's just so beautiful what the lord does in the sense of it takes things away from you that you feel like was you which is something i spoke about in my previous video and then make sure embrace you for you you know it's beautiful but thank you so much for watching this video sorry it's, it's all over the place and it just doesn't make sense and it just seems like it's just <laughs> it's just like my head floating you know you can't see the rest of me but yeah it was just last minute it wasn't actually meant to be filmed but i just ended up doing it because i just felt if i don't do it now i won't do it <laughs> for a long time so yeah this is me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> ah, I have pins and needles now. Pins and needles. Ah, bye.